guys, welcome back to Paintology. Today we will be learning all about how to make paw print ornaments. The first ornament we will make with our pups is the cinnamon paw print ornament. You will need one and a half cups of cinnamon. Cinnamon is natural and non-toxic to canines, unlike nutmeg, which can cause hallucinations and seizures, so please don't substitute any other spices. Next, you will need one cup of either unsweetened or cinnamon applesauce and two tablespoons of clear drying non-toxic glue. Now this is very important because you are going to be putting your dog's paw in it and so if they were to ingest it, we just want to make sure it's as safe as possible. Next, grab a set of cooking stencils or stamps. These are helpful if you want to add your dog's name or the year to the bottom of the ornament. You'll also want to grab some type of nonstick paper so you have a backdrop for the dough. And don't forget to grab a mixing bowl to throw it all together. After gathering all of your supplies, begin by grabbing your cinnamon and measuring out the cup and a half. This gets a little dusty, so you might want to hold your breath. <laughs> Next, add in your applesauce. Next, I add in my two tablespoons of glue. And don't forget to roll up your sleeves. This is a very messy project. So then I mix and knead the dough together until combined. You will want to wash and dry your hands. Roll out your nonstick paper. And then transfer the dough onto the nonstick paper. This recipe makes a lot of dough, and so if you have babies in your house or little kids in your life or other pets, um, feel free to make them their own ornament too. So then I roll out my dough. You can also do this with your hands. We want the dough to be about a fourth of an inch to a half of an inch thick. Grab any book lying around, any cookbook, and cover that with parchment paper. And drop a slab of the dough onto that and this will become your ornament. Don't worry about shaping it yet, we will do that later. Add as much dough as needed to make it to the desired thickness. Then grab your pup, either put them on the counter or put this on the floor. And you will want to evenly press their paw into the ornament and it's up to you if you also want their nail imprint as well. I have a very patient dog, but it's very easy to do. And then grab your stencils and just push each stencil into the dough. Next, poke a hole in the top with your straw. And lastly, just cut away any excess dough, making the ornament whatever shape you'd like. Now let's sit to dry for anywhere between two to four days. Unless you live in a humid area, this will take much longer. A lot of these recipes online will tell you to bake these in the oven, but please do not do that. Um, as an oncology nurse, I can tell you that if you heat these up, you are actually releasing toxic fumes into your lungs, even though it is a non-toxic glue. And this is the finished product hanging on the tree. I reinforced the top with a little bit of glue because it wasn't done drying yet when I filmed this. This one is by far my favorite. I just love the color and the homemade look of it. Next up is this salt dough ornament, and this is a classic that's been around for many decades and is so fun and simple to make. For the ingredients, you will need one cup of plain salt, nonstick paper, a straw or something to punch a hole with, one cup of flour, and a half a cup of water. Grab the same letter stencils and stampers that we used for the first ornament. And don't forget to collect some string or ribbon to hang it on your tree. So grab a mixing bowl and begin throwing all of your ingredients together, starting with the flour. 
followed by the cup of salt and the half cup of water. This will form a beautiful paste, so begin to mix that together. I started with the whisk and then ended up using my hands as it starts to get really clumpy and a little bit more difficult. So get in there, make your dough. I found this is the easiest way to do it, is just to make individual dough balls. So grab a slab of dough and begin to roll it out. Try not to overroll it as this will decrease the thickness of the ornament. Grab a book or a cookbook nearby and cover it with nonstick paper. And put the dough on top. And now this is the fun part. So introduce this to your dog. Make sure they're comfortable with it first. Um, they can eat it, but they probably won't want to, but it is safe for them. So it's fine if they're lying down. That's why we use the book as a hard surface. So firmly but gently push their paw into the salt dough and press evenly so you get each pad. And voila, it works beautifully every time. Now we'll just want to grab our stampers and either spell out your dog's name or maybe the year, whatever you want it to say under or around the ornament. I always think this is a really fun part <laughs> and it looks really cool at the end. And this is what it looks like before we pop it into the oven. Mitty is very excited for the final result. So now we just want to cut away any excess dough in order to shape the ornament however you like. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I actually prefer this homemade kind of rugged look, especially for a popper and ornament. So next you want to poke a hole onto the top of the ornament with your straw, and then simply pop the ornament into the oven for two hours at 300 degrees. When it is done baking, take it out of the oven and let it cool for about an hour. This will make sure that it's nice and hard and ready to hang on your tree. Then you can cut some ribbon, some string, and you can hang it up and present it on your tree for all to see. And here it is in all its glory, just hanging on the tree. Um, I think it's so cute and festive in a way to tie in our furry friends to the holiday season. With the excess dough on any of these three pop ring ornaments, you can use cookie cutters to make festive present toppers, or if you have little kids, you can do their handprints into ornaments as well. These make for perfect gifts and add just the right amount of a homemade touch. I like to add food coloring to kind of spruce up the salt dough ornament, and you can do this with your paw print ornament as well. These are some finished examples that are ready to go on any present or on your tree. Next up is the clay paw print. So first you will need some oven bake safe clay. You wanna make sure that this clay is non-toxic as you will be putting your dog's paw in it once again. Then grab your stampers, parchment paper, a straw, and something to hang it on the tree with. So pick whatever colors you would like and roll them out. I decided I wanted to throw some red in here as well. Not realizing that I was actually making the Italian flag. Italy? No, <laughs> just thinking to myself, this looks like a flag. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> in order to make it a visible paw print, you want to make it pretty thick 
and this clay that I bought is very thin. So you really need to press your dog's paw into the clay pretty hard while still being gentle. After getting your dog's signature paw print in there, finish by stamping whatever you would like into the bottom of the ornament once again and carve out what you would like the ornament shape to be. And don't forget to poke your hole in the top. And then I put this on a baking sheet and baked it at 275, a little bit under two hours, but you will need to follow the instructions on whatever clay that you purchase. And this is the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. We would love to see if you make any of these paw prints for yourself and we'll see you next time. Bye.